Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC, and today we're gonna to be talking about an AMD fan CPU cooler removal and install. We're gonna be removing and adding a AMD Wraith cooler. Um, there are a bunch of different types of CPU coolers, but we're just gonna be doing specifically the AMD Wraith cooler, because some uh, coolers, they have like actual screws where you screw them in. This one is more of a clamp kind of style, and we'll go over how to install that. So the first thing you wanna do is you're of course gonna locate the cable that's connected to it. There should be only a single cable, and unplug it from the CPU fan header that it's on, and then you're gonna locate the little lever that's actually on the CPU fan and you're gonna turn it and then you're gonna go ahead and look around it and try and get the little metal lever part and then you're just gonna do the same on the other side and that's it. It's a very simple removal. All you do is just move the lever um, and push it out into an angle so that way it gets off of the little lip that it's on and then do the same on the other side. And now after you have the CPU fan already removed, the next step is, of course, if you're replacing the CPU fan or if you're just adding thermal paste, uh, it's very easy to just kind of get a towel, wipe off the thermal paste on the actual CPU. Um, just wipe it off, make sure you don't get any in the pins. So be very, 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 very careful. If you're gonna continue to use the old fan, then it's good to also wipe down the surface on the, the copper plate that's gonna be making contact with the CPU, wipe that off as well, and then reapply thermal paste on top of the CPU. So now we're gonna go through the process of, say, you got your new CPU cooler and now you wanna apply it or put it, reinstall it back onto your CPU. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the cable part of it. The cable part is gonna be facing the top of it. So you want the cable to be as close to the CPU fan header uh, on top of the motherboard, so the AMD logo is gonna be upright. So when you put it on and you actually put it inside your case, you'll notice that the AMD logo is gonna be upright. Place it down on top of your CPU. Make sure that you have your lever angled in a way so that way you can just put the little metal brackets inside the lip. So it's always easier to get the side that doesn't have the little lever in first, and then you're gonna pull the lever to the opposite side and now the CPU fan is connected. Just make sure that the metal uh, bracket is inside the teeth and then you are all set. Very quick and easy, it's a toolless design. Um, all you gotta do, the only thing that you gotta make sure is that you plug in the CPU fan into the CPU fan header. Um, so that way you can like change the fan speed and kind of monitor the thermals and make sure that your CPU fan is actually cooling your CPU. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hopefully it helped you resolve any issues that you were having with your system. Um, if you wanna purchase yourself an AMD system, uh, you can check it out at cyberpowerpc.com or if you wanna build your own, you can check it out there as well. Uh, this is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC signing off. Peace.